Hello everyone, I am your German Snob. I am here with another episode of Let's Play Vice City. We are at the site of the next mission, so without further ado, let's get it started. I hate these Asians! They messed with me for the last time! We'll take them out! Only we need some backup! I lost a few hermanos already out there! Amigo, you drive good! For a woman, right? This is no time for joking! Come on! Drive for me again! Take my boys over there, and then we'll take these Asians down! When they mess with me, they mess with the biggest boy in town! Now, here we needed a car with four doors, so it sometimes helps if you brought one along. However, quite often it doesn't help if you brought one along, because it tends to just disappear while you're in that diner seeing that cutscene. But this time it was kind enough to stay, so let's get in. That we are going to do. Now, I've... I have to admit, this mission so far took me several attempts and, well, I sure hope that this time it's going to work out because usually I failed it because of, uh, I'm gonna be honest here, really stupid reasons. But it might work better now. So let's see if we can, uh, can take the shortest way there. Though I don't think we can because usually I, I have trouble finding my way around the city. It's not a it's not a secret, I have a bad sense of orientation. But what can I do about that? We're almost there, just a few more meters ahead. Look at that. Here we are. Hey amigo, good to see you can make it! We're gonna kill them all! Die! And there are these evil uh, evil Haitians. And we're just going to shoot them, and then they're gonna die. And that's the whole purpose of it. Uh, and part of the purpose is also that we don't die. That's arguably the most important part. Blowing up that car helps because it severely hurts them. Obviously. I mean, it, it makes sense if you think about it. What is very important here is that you watch out not to hit any of your own guys. They sometimes tend to run in front of you, and... When one of them dies, uh, the mission is going to be failed. Now, it just so happens that one of the enemies has dropped a sniper rifle there. Take out that cowardly sniper! I will. That means we just have to pick it up and take him out. Hey, you, you, you just fuck right off. Now, to hit the sniper, we need to stay back a bit and... Ah, oh, sorry. And... Then... Kill. See? Not more to it. The rest should be pretty easy going. I hope. Die? Now, the first time I played for this mission I had trouble because one of the enemies got stuck in that wall. But that I mean he got stuck in that wall, not on the wall, meaning that I couldn't shoot him because, well, as I said, he was in there. So, I tried to be clever about it, brought a car in here and tried to blow it up so that it would kill him that he would be caught in the blast. However, also caught in the blast was one of my own people, which means the mission was failed. So that was really damn stupid. Now we are here. Uh, we want to watch out that the van doesn't get destroyed. And kill some of them. Just like that. Are you hitting the van? Because that would be stupid. Now we just need to get in there. And 
try to survive with one of our tires shut out. Because otherwise it would just be too easy. Get away! Ah, well, so much about that. I'm gonna make a cut here, see you in a minute. Now let's see if that's going to work out better this time. At least all our wheels are intact, so that's a step into the right direction. Get out of my way! Okay, my wheels are still all intact. Now the only thing to worry about is the police and... Uh, what's the worst they can do? I don't want to find out honestly, but... No, I think this could work out pretty well. After all, we drive a heavier car than them. And that, after all, is all that matters. Now we're gonna take the same way back that we came. Maybe we can shake them off somehow? But I kinda doubt it, because if anything the cars are a bit... How do you say... Well, easier to maneuver than what we have here. But you know, there is still a chance, and... That's what's important. After all, so far we are doing pretty well. Just gonna hope that stays that way. As I said, the cafe is not too far away. In fact, it's quite close by. Just around the corner here. Get out of my way. Oh god, get out of my way. I don't want you around here. Come on, now they have me cornered. Way better. So that means we are almost there. And something just exploded, I couldn't say what it was. But do I care? No. Mission passed. And apparently there's a shootout going on. But right now I don't have to be concerned about that. I will be seeing you at the site of the next mission. And here we are. At the site of the next mission, but first I want to show you something. I wonder if this works because it did work in San Andreas. Because if we shoot a sniper rifle at the moon... It... Wait, it changes its size for some reason. I don't know, it's just something that GTA sometimes does. A little easter egg. Also, if you look at the stars, though, I think they're kind of hard to see from here. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to make out, but they form a big R. Which, of course, stands for Rockstar. Just um, a small detail I wanted to bring to your attention. Now here we are, as I said, next mission, right here at the airport. Let's get in there and pick up that phone. So there's a rifle to my right, uh, but that's... Oh boy, it's a tailing mission, those are my favorite. So, follow the woman on the balcony. Well, I just said that she will walk down the escalator at some point. So there is no reason to follow her up there. Nope. There she is. Just keep our distance. Don't let the distance bar fill up. Now she's going to talk to someone. Yep, that person in the blue suit right there. See, that person right there. And I think it's him that we are supposed to not get too close to. The woman doesn't actually matter anymore. Also, some 
somewhere there seems to be a shootout going on, but what can I say? That's just the way the things are here. And if I understand it correctly, we have to kill him uh, without getting too close to him. And we did. So the one thing we have to watch out for is the police. Yep. Now, good thing we have brought the bulletproof vest. But also there's a health pickup. So that's good. Now we need to get it to the weapon store. Of course, without getting... Uh, getting killed. Which should go without saying, I understand, but... And nonetheless, sometimes you need to point certain things out, just... Uh, just that there are no mistakes to be made. Can't I just jump over there? It's kind of a motif with this game, isn't it? That I can't just jump over certain low... Um... Go away! I don't want you here. Um... But yeah, <laughs> here we go. Take that sports car, because at the very least it's going to be fast. Very good for a quick getaway, isn't it? Now, I don't really know my way around here all that well, admittedly. So, let's hope that I'm not just going to drive in circles, shall we? Uh, but I think I kind of know where to go. I guess. Let's let's try going down there without wrecking our car. And yeah, this should lead back out if we follow that road. Also, the police right now doesn't seem to be after us. And it's died in your arms. I kind of like that song. We could listen to it a little bit more. But we have more important matters to do. So let's just get out of the airport area. Maybe we'll get by one of the... Okay, that makes matters more difficult. <laughs> oh boy. Please explode and take some of them with you. Oh shit. You're pretty low in health. There's another bulletproof vest. That is good. That is very damn good. Not so much about the quick getaway. Oh damn. Now, this makes matters more complicated. Still doable though. Oh shit, he shot up my tires. I didn't see that coming. Okay, along there. I might have a plan. Well, plan might not be the right word. But I might know what to do. Oh, the car is almost down. Time to take the last part on foot. No! You know what? I... Well, it was worth trying. Go away, fucking cops! <laughs> I'm doing very well, as you can see. Stop shooting at me! The hell! Okay, that little side alley there. It might help us. Or it might not. I, I need a car. I really need a car. Okay, we might be able to outrun them. Okay, I can hardly believe that myself. But right now it might be the best bet we have, so... Uh, can't say it's not worth trying. There's an invisible wall there. Why wouldn't there have been an invisible wall there? 
I think I can just scrap that mission, can I? Can't I, rather? Um, yes, I think I can. Cut! And here I am again, I suppose. You know, really, this is rather easy if you know what to do. That is, not actually take a car, not actually go through the city, but rather just stay at the docks and the beaches. There, um, the police can't get you. These armored body car vehicles uh, that were following us before don't even see you, and you can just kind of, well, how can I say, sneak by, I suppose. Nothing easier than that, actually. Actually, it's, in a sense, I'm kind of cheating, and it takes a lot longer than just to drive there. But it is also a lot safer. So that is definitely what matters, right? I obviously didn't record all of it, because, as I said, it takes quite long. But you are definitely on the safe side doing it. It is, though, sadly nowhere near as exciting as the way we tried to do it before. And I suppose you might argue that that in on itself is kind of a shame. But then I think it would be hard for me to complain. What is very noticeable is that you don't actually use no lose. That you don't actually lose your wanted level. And let's um let's go out on the streets again. Now this is probably the one part that could actually get dangerous anymore. So probably probably shouldn't get careless. And, you know, take our time. Or rather not take our time, but rather be quick. You know, one or the other has got to be right. Look at that, there's the police. Now we just need to make a run for it and hope that they won't shoot us. That would be very important to do, I wager. Can they follow us in that side alley? No, I don't think they can. So that means we're just gonna make a run for it, hope that nothing bad happens, hope that they don't drive us over. Now a few meters before our goal, but no, no, here we are. And that is worth $8,000. As I said, there would have been a much harder way to do this. But who do you think I am? Well. Actually, I can tell you who I am. I am your German snob, and that was another episode of Let's Play GTA Vice City. Uh, looking forward to seeing you again, and until then, have a good time, enjoy yourself, and ciao!